Welcome everyone. My name is Merle on the Move. I'd like to welcome you this evening. Uh, welcome to the Story County Democrats Fall Fundraiser. I'd like to thank the Collegiate United Methodist Church and all its many volunteers and donors who've made this possible. Thank you to all the attending for your support. Let's make sure that everyone is able to vote and make sure that their vote is counted. Many of you are concerned about safety. There are several ways you can help protect yourself and your vote. You can vote early when lines are shorter at the auditor office, Monday through Friday from 8 to 4.30, and on Saturday, October 31st, from 9 to 5. Or if you can vote at the Ames Public Library on the next two Saturdays from 9 to 4. There will also be voting at the Sheen Building on, 9th, on the 19th and 21st from 9 to 4. Any eligible voter residing in Story County can vote at these locations. Okay, now let's go ahead and get started. Um, Starting off right now, Representative uh, Beth Wasso Crocho running for re-election to the Iowa House of District 45. It's good to see everybody. I can't even give a countdown. I don't know how many days we have left, but I know that it is creeping up really fast. I wish we could, I could see more than just your, you know, cars. It'd be really great to see real people. There you are, Barb. Thanks for waving. So I think we all have pandemic. Uh, fatigue and we'd like to be out and to see real people. We have so much at stake in this election. I truly, truly appreciate the um, slogan for the Biden campaign, which is we are fighting for the soul of our country. And I want to extend that to our state. We're fighting for the soul of our state. There isn't an issue that I don't think we, don't, we need to work on. Every single issue um, has just been eviscerated or destroyed by long-term Republican uh, control of state government. And it's time to take that control back. We are so close. We are so close to regaining control of the Iowa House. I have seen some polling that puts us in many, many races so close, much like the, um, the Senate race, the US Senate race, the Greenfield and Ernst race. We are so close. And what do we need? We need volunteers to make phone calls to make sure that that happens. Um, I want to thank all of you. I know this year I've been able to make um, a over $36,000 in contributions to the House Truman Fund to support all those purple races, and that's a, as a thank you to you. I am still taking contributions. We are, are still buying TV and radio time um, for our purple district, so if anybody is interested in helping there, I would love your help. The big thing now also is to get out the vote. So I have um, information about how you can volunteer to help us get out the vote. If you would like the contact numbers for that, um, I would be happy to give them to you. I have them in my pocket and I would distribute them to you anytime. Thank you so much for coming. I know you got a long list of speakers. Thank you, Representative Crochelle. All right, let's keep this going. Coming up next, Representative Ross Wilborn running for re-election to the Iowa House District 46. Oh, he's on. Oh, you gotta go. You gotta see me up here. Hey, everybody, good to see you. I'm State Representative Ross Wilburn. He, him, his. I just want to try this. I'm gonna count to three on three. One beep on the horn. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, that's it. I love it. I love it. So, um, first of all, I want to thank you all for being here tonight. I want to thank you for the honor and privilege of having served and representing Ames in the Iowa House. Beth already talked about us needing to get the House of Representatives back. We need Democrats voted in up and down the ticket, from the president down to our great county supervisor candidates that you're going to hear from in a second. But uh, I, I served on the Environmental Protection, the Judiciary uh, Justice uh, Committee, and uh, the Human Resources Committee. There's a lot of work that needs to be done in terms of, uh, you know, uh, getting rid of the privatization of, Med of Medicaid. We need to do any work on the environment because we didn't have a single bill come through of any meaning on the Environmental Protection Committee, which is just a shame. We need those four or five seats, and you can help us 
by voting here. You can help us by contacting any friends you have across the state of Iowa to let them know if you want to have some ballots back in state government, we need to get the House back. Um, I don't have, you know, that I'm unopposed, but I've been working uh, to try and help us get the House back. I just came up from Ankeny, um, and uh, I was over at the coffee shop uh, um, talking there, because I know Seldon's running against Dave Dio. Nice folks. I know, for example, with environmental protection, there are some Republicans who would want to do some work on the health of soil. But their leadership does not allow us to even talk about the issue. And if we get, when we get the House back, Bill's got to pass both houses, so they've got to come to the table with us. It's going to start with having to have a review of all the work that Governor Reynolds has done or not done in terms of the coronavirus. We need to have a review of the work that she's done so that we can again start having conversation about health care, about the environment, about jobs. But everything has to be done through dealing with and managing coronavirus. We're going to do it. It's going to start in 17 days. Think about that 17 days to get people to get those ballots out and vote right now. Thanks again. We're going to need some money a little later on. That helps us get the message going. Uh, take the yard signs, and we will see you around. We're going to celebrate on November 3rd, that evening. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Zen <laughs> Thank you, Representative Ross Realborn. All right, coming up next, Jack Friend running for election to the Iowa House District 48. Hey, everybody. I'm Jack Friend. I'm a teacher, and I'm running for the State House of Representatives because I had some experiences during the last spring and winter that stuck with me. I saw my local representative voting over and over again for issues that did not affect me in any way. And when they did vote for something that affected me, it was negative, such as making it more difficult to vote in our state. And so I'm running to make sure that District 48 has somebody who's fighting for the welfare and the quality of life of people in my district. I was just at a Republican event where I had a chance to speak to people. I was speaking to the Republican state representative and this Republican senator. And let me tell you the image they are painting of Iowa to their constituents. The image is rosy. They are telling us that everything is great, that our schools have everything that they need, that our health care system is doing everything for everyone that could ever possibly be wanted. Well, I'm glad I was there because I made the point that we cannot say that when our rural hospitals are in danger. We can't say that when our rural schools aren't keeping up with their spending per student, with inflation. That is not what is happening, and we need to change it. So if you want to look me up, you can go online at jackforiowa.com. I am here to tell the real story of what is happening in rural Iowa, and that is that we need change, and we need it immediately if we are going to see our town start thriving again. Thank you very much. All right, that was Jack Friend. That was Jack Friend running for election at Iowa House District 48. Coming up next, Selden Spencer running for election to the Iowa House District 49. Hello, hello, hello! All right. Okay, now, everybody from House District 49, honk your horn! There it is! Okay, well, that surprised me. I didn't think anybody from House District would be here, but let me flip it because I want to speak on behalf of House District 49. I want to be speaking on behalf of Mark and Connie Chimelin and McCallsburg speak on behalf of Lisa Obrecht in Zeering, and speak on behalf of Luke Spence in Nevada, and Diane Cooper in uh, Cambridge, and all these people that are solid Democrats that have been working their ass off for me. And I really appreciate it. And I want, on behalf of all those people, to say thanks to the Story County Democrats 
for your generous contribution and, con and support to my campaign. I'm not going to get into the weeds and talk about issues. You've already had great presentations. I just want to say thank you and, like everybody else, encourage every one of you here to don't stop now. If you are bored and you want to go visit Hubbard with me, give me a call. I'll take you up there. we got to do lit drops, so come on down. Take care, folks. Thanks. All right, that was Seldon Spencer running for election in the Iowa House District 49. All right, everybody, we okay? Let me get another horn blow. Can I get one? Oh, all right, all right. We're alive. We're going. All right, coming up next, Cynthia Abdel Passion running for election to the Iowa Senate for District 24. Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming out tonight. Uh, my name is Cynthia Up at All Passion, and since March 1st, I have been running for the Iowa Senate, District 24. This is a big rural district. It was held for 24 years by Jerry Bain of Boone. So he had a good long run, and it's an open seat. Um, I, I won my primary in June, and I'm hoping to win uh, in about two weeks. So I've been working hard. Um, this district includes Hamilton County, Greene County, Boone County, uh, a little bit of Webster, and the western edge of Story County. So it's a big district, but I am having a ball. I've been talking with people about health care and health care and health care. Um, there's a lot of gaps in our system with privatized Medicaid. Um, there's a lot of problems with what our governor has done to address COVID in Iowa. And it's really affecting uh, low-income people, rural people, and people of color. So we need to get it together as a state and start addressing COVID, start taking care of our people with health care and with mental health care. And thank you so much for coming. And let's do this. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Got it? Yes. All right, all right, party people. Let's go. Coming up next, running for the four year seat for the Story County Supervisor is Latifa Faisal. Hey, Latifa. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out and spending some time with us on um, this beautiful evening. My name is Latifa Faisal, and I am running for Story County Supervisor. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I was born here in Ames. I'm a Story County native, graduated from Ames High and Iowa State University. And um, I am running for County Supervisor because I am concerned about affordable housing and transportation for our county. I am running for county supervisor because I want us to have a climate action plan. I'm running for county supervisor because I'm concerned about the mental health of all of our residents and ensuring that everyone can access mental health services when they need them, as well as substance use treatment and services for those with disabilities. I am running for Story County Supervisor because I love this county and I love all of the people in it and I want to serve every single person who lives here and enable all of us to thrive and flourish and grow and lead the way for all of Iowa and be an example for all of Iowa. Thank you so much for coming and yeah, thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you, Latifa. All right, coming up next, running for the two-year seat for the Story County Supervisor to complete the term after her appointment, Lisa Haytons. Well, 
Well, good evening, everyone. Thank you for all coming out tonight. I am Lisa Heddens, and I am seeking your vote for the two-year term to the Story County Board of Supervisors. During my tenure, I've had the opportunity to work on a number of issues focusing on our county's infrastructure needs, um, and uh, doing a housing study so that we can address the need for affordable housing within our county. But talking with a number of constituents, there's another top issue that's out there, and that is broadband connectivity. People out in the rural area oftentimes have no broadband or have very spotty or limited, or as they've described it to me, it's almost like having dial-up, uh, the old dial-up. Um, so the county really needs to work in collaboration with other municipalities and the state, our state and federal partners to help make that connection from those local municipalities out into the rural areas. My background has been in mental health and disability arena, and uh, I currently serve on the governing board for the implementation of adult and child services for the county. Um, that is a very important issue to me, being the parent of a, uh, an adult with an intellectual disability. I want to make sure that all individuals have access to services. Prior to serving on the board, I served in the Iowa legislature. Well, I served on a variety of committees, but probably one of the, the larger things um, was being the, uh, uh, overseeing the Health and Human Services budget. It's my background in budgeting from the legislature, as well as being the former executive director for the National Alliance on Mental Illness for Central Iowa, um, and having those experiences that I felt I was able to bring to the table um, and execute um, a number of the initiatives um, and ensuring that we do manage our tax dollars wisely at the county level and still maintaining quality services. I appreciate that you've all come out tonight. It's a little chilly, but I'm glad that uh, uh, it's not too bad. And I ask for your vote uh, either tonight or if you have not sent in your absentee or going to vote on Election Day, I ask for your vote. Thank you for coming tonight. Thank you, Lisa. All right, coming up next, running for election as Story County Attorney after his recent appointment. Timothy Mills. Uh, thank you all for coming tonight. Um, I was appointed to the Office of Story County Attorney last February. Um, and this is my first time running for office in, in Story County. Um, I've been in the office for 21 years protecting the citizens of Story County. And I want to continue doing that for as long as I can. I think there's been a Democrat for Story County Attorney for 40 or 50 years. I want to continue that. So I'm asking everybody to get out and vote. I don't have an opponent, but I want everybody to come out and vote and keep Democrats in office in Story County. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mills. All right, right now we're gonna go to running for election for U.S. Congress, Mr. J.D. Shoten. Thank you. Awesome, so thank you so much for being here tonight. I wanted to give a little bit of an update. Uh, all last cycle, we just wanted democracy and just wanted to have a fair uh, a fight, and so we asked for a debate and didn't get one all last cycle. This time, we've been trying to do the same. I'm happy to announce that at 4 p.m. on Wednesday in WHO in Des Moines, uh, we're going to have a, 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 a debate. So that's exciting. And the reason we are is because he realized that this isn't a gimme race. We are uh, outraising him. Uh, we are out volunteering him. We are out uh, hustling him in every single way. I've been to all 300 or yeah, 374 towns in Iowa's fourth congressional district in this thing. And when you outwork him and you see the polls uh, just razor thin, then we forced him to have a debate. And so I'm pretty proud of that fact. And and just you know, having go through going to all 374 towns, you realize what's happening out there 
and and just the energy and the frustration out there that that goes along with it and there's one story that i think really uh just personifies what's happening in the rest of the district and it's a gentleman named roger walker he is the last dairy farmer in palo alto county and him and his brother ha have been milking cows their entire life and when uh uh uh, their, their family uh, has had the farm for, uh, they've been milking cows for over a hundred years. And it's not because of the market, it's because of policy out in DC, these get bigger, get off the farm policies. And it just points to exactly what we're talking about. And so when we're going out there and engaging with people from all over the political spectrum and meeting them where they're at, that's why we're in this race. No one's working harder than us and, and we're just going out there everywhere. And so we only have a few weeks left. And so I challenge you all, voting is not enough. What we need, especially these last few weeks, once you vote, go find somebody who wasn't gonna vote and, and get them to vote. Almost every time I stop for gas in this thing, I ask the cash register, are you voting? And, and I ask, uh, uh, and, and probably about 50% say yes. And so you will be shocked when you ask and go out there and, and try to engage people, bring people into democracy because so much is riding on this. And so with that, all I gotta say is uh, we have an amazing lineup of wonderful people here. We have an amazing opportunity to, to do something pretty darn special this election cycle. So we only have a couple weeks left. So it is not time to stay at home. It's time to get engaged. It's time to uh, find out what we can do to get every last vote. I know my race is going to come down to razor thin margins. So with that, my name is J.D. Schulten, and I continue to stand tall for all. Thank you very much. Thank you, J.D. Now, let's give a special thanks to Lucy Barton, our auditor, who is working hard managing her staff, training election officials, making sure we have a safe, secure, fair election in Story County. And, since so she's coming up, <laughs> running for a real election in Story County Auditor, Lucy Martin. Hey, good evening. Thanks for coming out. Um, Yep, just came here straight from the office. We uh, voted 515 more voters today at the Ames Public Library. So, good job. Um, we blew the doors off of absentee numbers probably a week and a half ago. So, you guys are killing it. Keep doing it. Like JD said, once you voted, go find somebody who needs to register. Go find somebody who's not sure how to vote an absentee ballot and help that person. Voter registration deadline, 5 p.m. next Saturday in my office. So um, I can work as hard as I can, but if I don't have people down in the legislature like Beth and Ross and Herman and Selden and Cindy and people in Congress like JD, my job is window dressing for democracy. So please vote for Dems up and down the ballot. Make sure you turn that ballot over and vote for the nonpartisan races and the justices that you feel like supporting. Um, and I ask for your vote on November 3rd if you haven't voted already. And thanks for coming out tonight. All right, thank you, Lucy. I want to do this. All right, I'd like to thank the Story County Democrats for hosting this 2020 drive out fundraiser. Also, I'd like to thank the Collegiate United Methodist Church for hosting. And also, I'd like to thank all you guys for showing up and participating. My name is Merle Crab, also known as Merle on the Move. Remember to vote!